We have already seen how to make dates in a range selectable or non-selectable using min date and max date options. In this lecture, we are going to see how to make weekends or weekdays selectable or non-selectable using before show day option. In fact, the value of the before show day option is a function and this function will be called for each day before displaying the date picker. And this function accepts a date as a parameter and returns an array where the first value should be true or false indicating whether the date should be selectable or non-selectable. The second value needs to be a CSS class name which will be added to the corresponding date and the third value in the array will be an optional tooltip to be displayed for the date. So let's see how to use the before show day option to make weekends or weekdays non-selectable. In other words to disable weekends or weekdays. So let's see that I have already created the date picker widget. Let me add the before show day option. So before S needs to be in capital and also D should be in capital. And to disable the weekends, we are going to use a utility function offered by date picker and it is no weekends. So we can access the utility function like dollar dot date picker dot no weekends. This is the name of the utility function. This will actually return an array where the first value will be true or false indicating whether the date should be made selectable or non-selectable. So weekends means it will include Saturdays and Sundays. So if we set the value of before show day like this, that is this utility function, then the weekends will be made non-selectable automatically. Let's see that refresh let me click see all the saturdays and sundays are now disabled so when you implement a doctor online appointment system if the doctor does not want to have appointments on saturdays and sundays that is the person should not be able to select any saturdays and sundays for his appointment you can write the code like this so all the weekends will be disabled so here Saturdays and Sundays became disabled which means a person could not select a date from Saturdays and Sundays. Suppose you want to disable weekdays that is you want to make weekdays non-selectable and weekends selectable. Okay. So in this case what we can do as I have already mentioned this no weekends is a utility function that returns an array where the first value in the array will be true or false whether that date should be selectable or non-selectable. So in this case for weekends the value will be false and for weekdays the value will be true. Okay. So what we can do we can just invert this. Right. So let me add a function here. So function and this function accepts date as the parameter. So let me specify date here. Now what I can do, let me write where weekends equals this one. Okay. And it will have date as the input parameter. Now let me create another variable like weekdays. And how I can make the weekdays? I just need to invert this weekends, right? In the weekends, for Saturdays and Sundays it will be false and for other weekdays it will be true. So if you want to disable weekdays for Monday to Friday it should be false and for Saturday and Sunday it should be true. So we just have to invert this. So I am going to invert this using this operator and within this I have to specify weekends of 0 because this no weekends utility function returns an array where the first value in the array will be true or false based on whether that date is selectable or non-selectable. Next we need to return weekdays and let's see the output refresh let me click see now it is happening the other way that is previously only weekends were disabled and all weekdays were selectable but now all the weekdays are non-selectable and only weekends are selectable. So here we are using the before show day option for which the value is a function 
which will be called for each day before the date picker is displayed and for making weekends non-selectable you can use the no weekends utility function it also accepts a date as the input so if you just want to disable all the weekends you just have to specify before show day and the value as dollar dot date picker dot no weekends that is like this before show day as this one okay and let me comment this and let me show you refresh click now all the weekends are non-selectable and if you want to make it the other way you need to invert this no weekends utility function that is what we have done here here the weekends is a variable where all the weekends will be having the value false and the weekdays will be having true so for weekdays we want to invert the array so we have specified zero as the index because this utility function returns an array and the first value in the array will be true or false for each date and we want to invert that value and finally we are returning weekdays which means all the weekdays will be non-selectable and all the weekends will be selectable. So in this lecture we have seen how to use the before show day option with the no weekends utility function to make weekends or weekdays non-selectable.